Hi guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be making this pencil pen case for your journal. Because if you're anything like me, you're constantly losing your markers or your pencils and then you want to go and work in a journal and you can't find your stuff and it drives you crazy. So I decided to make my own for my journal. It's super easy to make. It actually attaches right to the cover. And it was actually inspired by this one right over here that I found online and I absolutely loved it and I wanted to make my own. Uh, the only problem was that I am not a very good sewer. So I needed to catify it and um, make it into a simpler project that would not require any sewing. And this is what I came up with. So I did create my own template. It is a very basic little template. I did not use a ruler. So if you're looking for something a little bit more uh, precise, obviously just use the template as a guide and um, use the ruler to your own specifications, whatever you want to make. So um, I, I knew that whatever product I was going to make the case out of it had to be durable which is the reason why I decided to go with the white craft plastic it's a thin sheet of plastic it's flexible it's you can cut it easily however you can't really rip it um, not that I've tried or anything but it is very very durable and um, it's fun to work with so um, I sit back relax and I hope that you enjoy the tutorial thanks guys First up, let's add some color to the white craft plastic. I'm using Marabou Art Spray. I'm pouring it directly onto the plastic and then using the foam stamp to distribute the color in random places. There's no rhyme or reason. The only intentional part was that I wanted the color to start in the center of the page. I created a template, which you can find below, and then cut it out of the craft plastic. I marked some score lines and then used a paper trimmer and a stylus to score them. It makes it easier to fold the plastic. If you don't have this, you can just use a, a ruler and a popsicle stick. I folded the score lines and used an old gift card to flatten them out. Next, I used a fondant rotary wheel and black acrylic paint to add faux stitches. If you don't have one, just draw them on using a fine tip marker. Next, I cut out a window using a knife. Next, I printed up some images onto clear computer graphics film. I normally print up multiple images on one sheet, cut them out, and use them for future projects. I also cut out a section of blank computer graphics film large enough to cover the hole. Remove the protective sheet exposing the adhesive and then place the clear computer graphics onto the back side of the craft plastic. Then take the printed image and adhere it to the front side of the craft plastic, creating a window. Use Double Tack, my favorite go-to adhesive, to assemble the case.
Next, I cut out a hole on each side of the case. I used a stretchy ribbon and fed it through and adhered the other side with a strip of double tack adhesive. Lastly, I added some double tack adhesive to thin magnet strips to create a closure. I added some felt to the inside of the case so that my pencils wouldn't slide around. This case is ready to go. This video is brought to you by graphicsarts.com. Thanks for watching.